In this video, we're going to begin looking at applications of systems of equations where we're working with interest rates. And as always with solving equations and with applications, it's important to define the variables first. So that when we get an answer like x equals 7, we know what that 7 means in terms of the problem because the variable has meaning to us. Then we need to make two equations. If we're comparing the interest, it'll be useful to make an equation for the interest rate and it'll be useful to make an equation for the amount of interest earned. Now, just a really brief example, if we get 10 percent interest on $200 or $2,000, that would turn out to be 0.1, which is 10 percent, times 2,000 or $200. Which brings up an, an important point. When using percent, we must convert the percent to a decimal. We can't use 10 in the problem, we have to use 0.1. And so when I'm talking about the interest rate, we're actually talking about the 0.1. That's the interest rate, the 10 percent. The interest earned, that's the amount of money I made at the end of the example, the $200. So we want to be very careful that we don't confuse the interest rate with the interest earned. So we have Sophia who's going to invest $1,900 in one account and $1,500 in an account that's going to pay 3 percent higher interest rate. After one year, she earns $113. What rates did she invest? Well, what we're looking for is the rates she invested at. So we need two variables because she invested at two different rates, one lower, one 3 percent higher. Um, let's just call them, we can just call them X and Y, I guess. Or how about we call them L and H? L for the lower interest rate. and H for the higher interest rate. And we're told that the second account paid 3 percent higher interest rate. So in the higher account, always oh, start with the bigger one here, we're going to get 3 percent higher interest rate. So we take the lower rate and we add to it the 3 percent, but be careful here, we have to write that 3 percent as a decimal. Remember, 3 percent as a decimal, we have to move the decimal point twice to get 0 0.03. We now have an equation for the interest rates. Now let's make an equation for the interest earned. She earned $113 in interest. So the higher one, she had $1,900 in. In the lower one, oops, I'm sorry, I'm backwards. We've got to be careful, make sure we read the whole problem. $1,500 is in the account that pays the higher interest rate. Ooh, that just turned black. $1,500 in the higher account, so. $1,500 at the higher rate, $1,900 then is at the lower rate, and if we add those interests together, we end up with the total money we made of $113 in interest. We now have an equation set up we can solve with substitution because we know H is equal to this stuff, L plus 0.03. So we can replace the H in the other equation, giving us 1,500 times L plus 0.03 plus 1,900L equals 113. And then we can solve this equation by first distributing to get 1,500L plus 1,500 times 0.03 is going to be 45 plus 1,900L equals 113. Combine like terms is going to give us 3400L plus 45 equals 113. 
subtracting the 45 from both sides. It's going to give us 68, so 3400L is equal to 68. And when we divide both sides by 3400, just out of space at the bottom, the lower rate is 0 0.02 which as an interest rate, we would say she invested the lower rate, the $1,900, at 2% interest. The higher rate then, we go to the H equals equation. H equals the lower rate, the 0.02, plus 0.03. H is equal to 0.05. The $1,500 is at the higher rate of 5%. And that's how our investment portfolio looked for the year. Let's try another example very similar to this one. Here, Carlos is investing $2,500 in one account, 1,000 in another, which is going to pay 4% lower interest, and he earns $345. Well, we're interested in at what rates did he invest, so again, we've got L is the lower rate. And let's go ahead and say the lower rate was the $1,000. That way we remember later. And H, the higher rate. And the higher rate, we've got $2,500 at. So we are told that the lower rate is 4% lower interest. So the difference between the two is 4%. So I would kind of go on that theme. I still like to start with the higher rate, making the higher rate equal to something. And there's 4% difference. So if we take the lower rate and we add 4%, 0 0.04, it will give us the higher rate. there's a 4% difference between them, and we're starting with the higher one. So we need to add to get to that higher one. Next, we're told the investments, there's 2,500 in one account, 1,000 in the lower account, and she earns 345 in interest. So let's make an equation for that. In the higher account, we know there's $2,500. In the lower account, there's $1,000. We add that together to get our total interest of 345, and we now have a system we can solve. Substituting in again for the H, 2500 times L plus 0 0.04 plus 1000 L equals 345. Distributing through 2500 L plus 0 0.04 times 2500 is 100 plus 1,000 L equals 345. Combine like terms to get 3,500 L plus 100 equals 345. Subtract 100 from both sides. We should be really good at this by this point. Equals 245 and divide by 3,500. And L is equal to 245 divided by 3,500. 0 0.07. 0 0.07. The lower rate, we've got $1,000 at 7% when we change it back into a percentage. And then we find the higher rate. The higher rate is L plus 0 0.04. The higher rate is 0 0.07 plus 0 0.04. The higher rate is 0.11. And so we have the $2,500 at the higher rate of 11% for our final solution.